go. Add some more. Oh, he's getting back to what? What? Your striker. Okay. Got another striker getting good. It's another strong striker. They got a lot of strong strikers on this team. He's got very high injury susceptibility, so the second he gets healed, we're going to sell him. <laughs>
Eden Hazard's off. Oh, Thorgan Hazard, not Eden. There you go, Sadar. Get there. Gets it over to Conga. Beautiful, beautiful way to get it up the field. Conga just st so strong, just stays on his feet. Just like I ain't worried about that. Oh, Sadar couldn't get it in. Oh, that was a perfect play. All right, it's a good movement. We'll leave it on balance. We're looking good. Nice, Conga. Oh, man, he is like a must start every game. He's the best. He's so far been the best player on our team. And he's not hes not the best rated player. But in his position as a striker, he's played the best for his position. position. We've had decent performances from our defenders until the last game. But Nice. Oh, he couldn't put it in. Let's demand more. Peter Parker. Oh, injuring Emery Khan. Nice. They're getting injured, not us. That's the good news. And I demanded more, and it didn't do anything. They're they're being stoic today. So that was not the right thing to say. Probably could have encouraged them. Oh! Oh, there's another player down. Is that Emery Khan again? We're now all oh, on target. Just couldn't get it in. Good save by the goalkeeper. We've been the better team so far, putting the pressure on. They had one really good move and shot on target, but we've been dominating the game so far. Conga, keeping control. Let's go to positive. Since we're dominating, let's go to positive. We started out of cautious, boys and girls. We moved it up to positive. We moved it up one notch at a time as, as I see us playing well. The goalkeeper's doing well. We're controlling the ball. We might as well. Oh, give us a corner. Good job, Koble. Instead of letting it go out of bounds, just give us a corner. I like it. I like it. We're in control of the match. Yes, I know. That's why I went up to positive. Thank you. Thank you, analysts, for earning your your money. Oh, ho, ho. Sunjik. Sunjik. Oh, that's the one of the best players in the United States. Reyna right there. He was injured, unfortunately, in the World Cup. There you go, Peter Parker. He picked out that pass. Nice. Put the pressure on him. He bricked it. Zero zero after the last game. I'm taking it. All right. They're still the better team, but we, we showed some good pressure. Okay. That's just XG. Dominated possession. Good job. Way to go, boys. Our house. Show them whose house it is. That's right. There's Conga. Oh, I thought he was going to tackle it and get the ball from Bellingham. Oh, and instead he just waits and gives him a free kick. Hello, Hayden Bell. Welcome back, my friend. I am doing well. Can I complain? Other than the fact that we got our ass kicked last game, 5-1. It was embarrassing, but... Oh! Kempf, what a shot. And he's off sides. But we won our first two games. We lost our last game. So we're two wins, one loss on the season. We won our first uh, cup game as well. So we're doing good with that. So we moved on to the second round of the cup. And we're sitting in the mid. We're sitting okay in the, to start the season. So and this is a tough one against Dortmund here. So if we can get anything out of this game, that'll be a miracle. So if we can... We can get some points out of this game. It, uh, that'll be good. That'll be good. We dominated the game so far. 
Even though they got a higher XG, we've dominated. Hasn't played well. Our defenders have played well other than Kempf, okay. Nice pass. Hope you've been well, Hayden. Oh, what a pass, Peter Parker. He picked out the pass and he's gonna put a cross into the, oh, no, he didn't. Oh, oh, what a shot. Oh, oh, so close, so close. Glad to hear you're good. This is the best time of year, after Christmas, before New Year's. It's like everybody's already given up on the year. They're like done with all that hustle, hustle mentality. It's like, all right, we'll chill out for a week. <laughs> Start a new year. I don't want to get anything done. Nice. Oh, no. Out of yummy. Damn it. I gotta encourage the team. That was not cool. We were playing so good, and then they get this. Who's who's five? Is that you, fucking Kempf? Right, put Darde in. You're out. Put Luca Bacchio in. Jovic has not played well this season. All right, let's go to attacking. The encourage didn't work. Got some angry players. I mean, we're dominating the game, but they, they've had the better chances. We just don't have, we just don't have the final, final touch is what it is. We're too, we're too soft on defense and we just don't have that, like, what is that shit? What was that year, I think? You're going to get off for that one. Let's put Rogel in for that one. I'm not happy with what you're doing there. Kanga, what a move! He couldn't do it, though. Luca Bacchio comes in, his first action of the season. Oh, it's not a penalty? It wasn't a penalty? No! No! Why is Serdar not out? I said to switch him out for Botus. I said yes, do it. This is why I hate clicking on those buttons, because they don't always work. Give us a corner, there we go. All right, let's go very attacking. We got 15 minutes left. Let's let's try and get a goal and tie it up, and then we'll go to balanced. Oh, so close. We're now. There you go, Luca Bacchio. Nice. Just a man more. Let's see if that works. Conga can't get there.
Hey now. There you go, Dardai. Come on, middle stick. Come on, Maximilian. There we go. What what a what a move. Just get in the Oh, and look at Baki was hanging out off sides. God damn it. We need a miracle right now. Come on. Give us a miracle. No miracle. Oh. Come on, boys. At least we played better this game. We played well, we are at home. So demanding more didn't work. None, none of my shouts worked this game. I just, I have the same problem on every fucking team. Whatever wing back I start plays like shit. It doesn't matter. I start the five star player, he plays like shit. Start the two star player, he plays like shit. Start the three star player, he plays like shit. Like it doesn't matter. Every team I play on, the wing backs have a bad game three out of four games. I don't know how else to say it. This engine does not do the wing backs proper. Let's just put it that way. I mean, we dominate the game and we lose. One nothing. Could be worse, right? So, we're down to 8th place. We got six points, minus two. Goal differential now. I don't have patience, Chris Bravo. That's one thing I don't have. But you're right. You're right, Chris Bravo. I'm not saying you're wrong. Alright, so I guess it's Z-Fuck's time. I've tried you, Parker. You just ain't there. I tried you, Kenny. You just ain't there. Like, I don't know what else to say. Alright, he's happy, so we'll do that. We'll put him in. Let's take a look at Richter here. He needs to get some action, so... Jovetic has not done it for me, so... He's going to end up being... We're going to have to put somebody in. Luca Bacchio or Richter, one of the two are coming in. He likes big games. Okay. I mean, that's what we got. Oh, he's got high injury susceptibility. All right, so let's put Luke Bacchio in. Let's see what he plays good at. Inverted winger, inside forward. Oh, no, no, no. Let's look here. Advance forward, complete forward. Okay. All right, so we'll switch those two up. And you want... You don't play deep line forward well, do you? Oh, you play deep line forward just fine. Okay, Kanga. Sweet. All right. All right, Kanga's up to four stars. That's good news. So we're, we're, we're going to bitch Jovicic. It, it says he's got two goals and one, and one assist. 7.12. Hey, Nash, welcome. Welcome back. But these are the three games in league right here. He played really good in the first game, 8.10. And then he's had subpar performances since. So Jovic had all of those. All of that was in the first uh, first game. So all of these, the goals and everything. So we're, we're going to give Luca Bacchio a chance. I think we do this. Bring Botus in, who I wanted to start originally. And let's bring Dardai back in for Kempf. 
and I think it's time to give our new uh, Croatian goalkeeper a start. You gotta mix it up. It's not that the goalkeeper's fault that we lost the last game, it was Dortmund. I know what the data hub is. Oh! This is the guy I want to get rid of. After five matches played, 2.8 million, so it's 4.7. If they win the French Cup, they get 600,000. Lens ain't going to win this French Cup. Important player. Okay. We don't get much of his salary, but we do get rid of him. say 35 we'll do this let's try that okay oh they're gonna see they they counter offer with more money on the loan see they don't they don't okay so we're just going to go like this. Oh. No, you went down here. 2-7? Oh, you know what? No, 2-7 is 5. 2-7, 1.4, okay. The problem is, is I don't get any money right now for him. Oh shit, see this is the counter offers on loans are fucking shit. I just fucked it up by ar arguing too much. I mean that's good enough, we'll take it. We're gonna accept it. I fucked myself on the loan though. Let's do this, let's go back to 20. We'll go like this. We'll say, how about this? 25%. Shit drives me nuts. The fucking negotiations on loans got so fucked up this year. I want the 20% back. Like, it's just getting, every time I negotiate, they're offering me worse and worse. Every fucking time. So I fucked that up. I fucked that up, and now they, they won't deal with me. It was really bad when this game first released, by the way, and they did adjust it in their week after release patch, which just tells you how much they fucked up this year. But it's still not good. It, it was really bad before. It's a little better, but you basically take whatever offer they have, or you're, or, or that's it. Like, like, that's where you're at. You take their offer, or you reject it. There's no negotiating on loan with future purchase offers. No no negotiating loan. It's just bad. It's bad. So let's we can only hope that they come back and offer an, again. That was my mistake. I should have just taken it. I should have just taken it. I, I know I know this game is is fucked up. I, I know I know the negotiating part on that is messed up. I should have I should have stopped pretending like this game actually works. And I should have realized this game is a piece of shit now. I gotta fucking just deal with it. <sighs> I'm fucking angry if you can't tell. This little sh this shit kind of just, it just gets to me.
opens up. Oh, I forgot about this. Transfer window ends here. So we're not going to get anybody else, it doesn't look like, sadly. We're going to have to just roll with what we got. It's really hard in the first transfer window to make your team fucking sing. We did all right. We did all right. Okay. Suck it. Okay. Never do that. Yes, I want this kid. But we're not going to do it right now. Ah, we'll do it fine. Okay. No, we're getting rid of him. Oh, he's gotten better, huh? He's a regular starter already. What? Why? All, all that does is make it harder when the other guy comes back from injury. Okay. No, we're we're, le we're leaving them here. Calm down. Sure. Language course is great. Sweet. That's why we loaned him out. Yes, that's why he's on the first team. Fucking idiots. Oh, we definitely do need that. All right, let's do that. All right. Yeah. Yeah. In the meeting. Alright. I, I, these little tiny things get under my skin. So like YouTube here saying, are you this this is a this is a bad video to watch are you sure you want to do it and you click yes and then it says are you sure there's there's su suicidal ideation in it so you have to click twice yes i want to watch the explicit video yes i know what's in it like why do i have to double click on a video to watch it like warning okay warning again i got it the first time these little things really get under my skin and i don't know why <laughs> I'm not watching the video anyways. <laughs> and if you notice, I still am looking over at where the camera used to be instead of looking at the camera. I'll eventually realize there's a camera pointing right at my face. But it's my first day with a new camera, so suck it. Deal with it. Oh, we took them straight out. All right, there we go. Wow. All right. I should have. I should have nickeled them and dimed them a little more. <laughs> sure. Probably should have offered more money. I'm a young dollar. All right, well, we got Augsburg on the road. We got a chance. We played Dortmund really good in the last game. Let's just hope we can continue that good form. Let's move it to balanced. Oh, 
I mean, I'd love to get Singo. I'd love to get him on my team. I don't have the money, and it's not a position we need to put priority on. He's a great fucking player. Oh, here we go again. Fucking... It doesn't take long for the list to turn into shit in a season. Even though I'm not scouting for anybody over 27. Look at this. Somehow they still found people over 27 to suggest for me. play in positions I need. He's too expensive for what he is and what he can be. We're not going to bother. C, I don't want. Good, good. See, this is why I go through the cards instead of the list. Because you can see all of the attributes. So I learn, like this kid, as a B, three star, I'd be like, yeah, not worth it. But... And when you see all these dark green attributes, like the physicals off the charts, I go, okay, I'm not kicking them out. I'm not getting rid of them. Uh, obviously, we're not signing them right now, but I'm not going to put them on a list yet, but I probably should have scouted them all the way. But we're not going to really be making any other purchases at this point. Cheap. He doesn't have interest, though. I mean, this player's all right. No. It's really hard when you're in a top-tier league and you got no money for buying players and you, you just got an average squad. God, I want this guy. Let's put him on the short list. He's interested in a loan. Can we loan him? He's not loan listed. Oh. Why? We can only transfer. We can't loan. Let's fully scout him. Short list for a year. I've never had luck with Asian players on any of my saves. Never had luck with them. Not saying I won't hire them. I just never had luck with them. See, it's finally starting to give me the Mazalas here. This is, the, this is something I really like that they added the recruitment focus. Like, they tried to make scouting better. It's not. But they're going in the right direction with their attempt. Because this tells me exactly what it's... Why they're suggesting this for me. And this is my number one focus right now. So... 30 million dollars this is why i don't scout england can't afford it here we go here's a mazala natural fitness of 17 decent acceleration first touch is good passing is good long shots are 15 holy crap doesn't have interest to come to us but that might change that might change he's on a loan right now so we don't have to deal with them for a year, but we'll put them on the short list just to remind ourselves. And another Mazala. It's a position I want to fill. A little expensive. So we got this guy's. This guy's been out from the beginning. Three to four more months. Selkie just went out for us. Six days to two weeks. Nate and Carlage, 12 days to three weeks. Okay. Hey, it finally explained this song. He's been out since the beginning. Platten Heart went down right away, two to six weeks. He went out, he went down in, before the season started, right in our cup, our Poco Cup tie, uh, Poco Cup match, first match of the season that counted. One of my English friends turned me on to this song. Gaslight Anthem. Man, I wish we had 10, 10, 12 million to get this kid. This, oh god, this kid would be so good. Keep saying I can't. 
Or even some money to get this kid. He's got a lot of potential. Song about the good times. Days are gone. Should have just let him go. This guy's injured. It's completed. So, we'll go... I'll just, that's how I have to deal with this skin. I can't just hit restart. I just gotta go back to completed and redo it. Sweet. I mean, we don't have money. We can't. We can't hire anybody. We, get, we gotta sell somebody before we can buy anybody. So that's how it works. Gotta sell somebody to buy somebody. Oh, here we go. Transfer window. It's taken forever. What do you have for me? The song's about the good times. The days are gone and you should just let them go. What's it? Welcome, my friend. We're only four subs away from a 24 hour hour stream. Four subs, folks. Four. Four more. And I do a 24 hour stream. That's right. 12 subs. I do a 24 hour stream. I'd love to do it on New Year's Eve. I'm already going to do a long one, anyways. I signed Alte in my other save. I don't need to sign him. Seventeen clubs are interested in Richter. Okay, we we should be able to get a deal done, but it's not gonna happen. Watch, it'll happen after. I don't want to lose him. Sadar, I like Sadar. He's good. Yeah, we already registered everybody. We got sixty-seven people registered. Everybody's registered. Kaga's done great. Arnau has done well. Good. Yurimanovic is doing well. Good. Middlestad's performing well. Okay. It's good to know. My good players are playing good. That's it? You give me nothing? Fuck off, Bordeaux. You give me one million loan fee, that's it? No, not good enough. This! Okay. 
This is 4.5 million plus 80% of his wages. Wolfsburg. Oh, 20% of profit. Can I negotiate it? Almeria would be his preferred place. Okay. That's not good enough. We'll take the Wolfsburg offer. Uh, just the sad thing is it won't let us buy anybody in this transfer window but we're probably not going to get it anyways god this is the guy I wanted I wanted this kid but I knew I wasn't going to be able to ever afford him he's going to go to Liverpool it's it's that's what happens you you you, you get your eyes on a four star player you're like ooh, ooh, I can sneak him I can sneak him and then one of the big teams come in and swoop him up and get you look at that West Ham spending 182 million my boys my boys going big I saw that Adeyemi went well. I, I don't know who they bought, but. Chelsea, Man United, West Ham, Man City, and then Barcelona. one of the better songs ever made. Ten days is not ready. This kid's not ready to start, but this nineteen year old he's got the speed, he's got the finishing. We might throw him in as a sub at one point. Since Richter's gone now, I'd, this is what I like to do is before they leave the team, I like to switch them out so I don't forget. So I make the decision while I'm thinking about it. Ooh, have we even, they always say, are you looking for this guy? And it's always somebody you haven't even scouted, but that this one looks really fucking good. Yeah, Mazzala, he'd be good. Not that bad, price-wise. I'll say thank you. Thank you for showing me a great player, media. I've had several of the best things that have ever turned out on teams and saves have been because of that transfer day. The media's like, what about this player? And you're like, they're not on my radar, but I'm going to scout them. And then you end up buying them in the next transfer window, and they end up being a fucking superstar. So. Plus, okay. Well, I haven't played enough games for them. Now. We got Yarstein, who's gone. Peter Parker, Botang. All players who are our team leaders are all old people who are not playing on our team that much. We got to get them out and get some of these highly influential players up to be team leaders. That's what we need to work on this year. So Selke is close. Two starts of star. Jovetic. He's great, but we're not going to re-sign his contract. So he's going to be Jovetic, Yarstein, Peter Parker, and Botang. All four of those players are out the door at the end of the season. Mitterstadt's not. He's going to be a superstar. So Mitterstadt, Tussar, mm, Plattenhart's out the door too. I'm not signing him to a new contract. He got injured for three months at the beginning of the year.
Yeah, I'm pleased. We got we got Bornell and we got a goalkeeper. We we got rid of we got rid of three players. We brought in two good players. We got rid of three who weren't gonna play much. And we brought in two who are going to play for us. Bornell's gonna start almost every game in defense. And that goalkeeper, well, he's a backup, but he could very easily take over the role of the starter. So we'll see. We'll see. And that's what you got to do. Is you got to sell off players who just aren't going to cut it and buy somebody to start. Or you buy young players to develop. This team needed starters. So so that that's the best deal. So this is what we did. Bornau and Labravik. Like I said. Center back, goalkeeper. We sold Dorita, the 32-year-old whose contract was up and I was not going to sign again, so we got $1.2 million off of him. We loaned Richter out, but we're going to get paid on it. I mean, he's just got to play five games for Wolfsburg over the entire season, and then we get paid. So, Malinda sold him for $2.3 million. So, we sold winger and a striker. Don't need him. All right, we're right in the middle, eight on the payroll expenditures. That's good. Okay. I gave her all that I had to give. Love Sublime, huh? Cool. We, you missed our discussion earlier about the uh, LA riots and their song, April 29th, 1992. I played that earlier. They're from, I'm from Los, An Los Angeles originally, so they're a, they're a hometown band, as you would say. Run away if you can stay. I ain't here to make a, oh no. Stop. Amazing horn solo here. Mm -hmm. Alright, can we turn our luck around? We won our first two games, lost the next two. Can we flip it back? Can we get ourselves back to our winning ways? Let's see. Alright, there's our... This kid's gonna be good. I wish he was a little bit better right now. He's 16. But this is gonna be our... This is gonna be our Mazala here. We're gonna train him Mazala attack. I'm gonna train him. Go to the half intensity like you want, and we're gonna train you to get forward whenever possible. First, first thing. Thanks for reminding me. Probably never heard of this band before. This is Gogol Bordello, an amazing band. I I saw them live and became an instant fan. I went to go see another band, and they were the headliner. And they just knocked, they just tore the place down. Ended up going to see him like two more times. I'll spell it out because not a normal name.
There were a bunch of immigrants from all over the world who happened to play a bunch of different instruments and all lived in New York City. And they used to get together on, you know, the weekends or holidays or whatever and just jam on all their stoops. They just get together at somebody's house and jam together. And as you can hear, they got an accordion, they got all sorts of, they got like a banjo, stand up bass, like uh, all sorts of classical style instruments from different parts of the world. Uh, some of them from Eastern Europe, some of them are from South America. They're all over the place. And they would just jam together, jam together, jam together. And then one day they're just like, what? They all played in different bands. So they all played in these different bands. And they all just said, we all like each other. We all jam together. Let's just make our own band. Who cares if we got 12 instruments on stage?